Okay, so this is going to be a somewhat instructional series on how uh, this game works. Powder, obviously. I'm using uh, a different set of tiles. These are the Chris Lomaka set instead of the classic uh, Akoi Mex or Mix. So I just wandered around. I found. Uh, this banded mail and a purple potion. So identifying potions is a really important part of the game and uh, the one potion that you can always identify the easiest or not one but the one that you should ident try to identify first is acid because it'll melt anything that's uh, meltable by acid. So we're going to dip the banded mail into the potion. Doesn't do anything, so it's not acid and it's also not poison. If it were poison, poison it would poison the banded mail. So it so next you test for Greek fire by using a long sword ideally. That was my phone. And if it's not Greek fire, no big deal. But the long sword is a great item to have earlier on. I mean the flaming sword. Anyway, uh, if you have two potions that don't stack when you sort, so you, you can see the you rummage through your backpack, then that means that they don't have the same uh, status in terms of either holy or evil. For now, I'm going to wear chainmail just because it's not as loud as uh, plate mail. Plate mail is loud and loud is bad for Pax, who is one of the gods here. And you want to have relatively high piety with the gods because if they get a really high piety, they could punish you in some really, really evil ways like uh, polymorphing you, which could really screw you up because they could polymorph you into like a they usually polymorph you into level 1 creatures, and when you die, you uh, get System Shock, which reduces your maximum HP, which sucks, and you don't want that. So, earlier on, you definitely want to sleep as much as you can. Grid bugs are particularly dangerous because they can move and attack diagonally. But now that I'm insulated, I can ignore the attacks because I have a uh, temporary shock resistance. So with helms like these, they are generated magical. There, there are four kinds. There's the feathered helm, the floppy hat, the silver circlet, and the gold crown. These have different properties. So first thing you would notice if you were the uh, Helm of Draining is you would notice your MP start to drain from 10, but mine is staying at 10, so it's not draining. And I see this, which means that this is definitely a Helm of Warning, because it shows you what the creature is. So name it, and you can see how difficult the creature is. The letter right there, see the E, represents uh, either even or easy or windshield which is beyond easy or below easy interesting that there's creatures in there grid bugs I'm still immune to the attacks which is good gonna pick this up uh, Zombies are strong, but they're slow, which means I can one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's just one way that you can abuse the speed system. I, I actually could have died if uh, I didn't kill him because he could have trapped me. But uh, if you're fast and the opponent is slow, or if you're normal speed and they're slow, you get extra moves. And I got a lot of items for this. That's great. 
probably another one here somewhere. Impossible. Okay, so I guess E doesn't mean easy. Hmm. Still don't exactly know what E means. Kite shield is regular allowed, but gives you quite a bit of defense. Wing boots are one of, uh, I think, five types of magical boots. There's wing boots, riding boots, hiking boots, pointed slippers, and clogs. First thing you do, look at yourself. If you're not fast, these are not speed boots. Next, remove anything that could make you loud. So remove anything that is not of average loudness, or even better yet, just, just remove everything. Be the bare-chested killer. And then you walk around and see if you're loud. Silent, 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 silent. So these are not squeaky boots. Squeaky boots, or squeaky shoes, they make you loud at random, I think. But there's a good chance that you're going to be very loud like every other turn or so. Which is why you want to take a few steps. Testing wands always test uh, while you're standing in the doorway and aiming the wand in such a way that if it reflects off a wall, it's not going to hit you. Because if you uh, create a... If you have a wand of create monster, it could really mess you up. And we're still level 1, so we're going to do a lot of sleeping to gain health. You can eat almost everything you come across. Uh, floating eyes are dangerous because uh, they have the ability to they have the ability to uh, paralyze you, and then a weak creature could easily kill you. So rem remember how we zapped that one. That means that on this square there's going to be a trap. You can search for traps if you know that they're there. Pits can be used for several things. Um, they can be used to make earth hammers, which are powerful. But uh, also, I guess, to some extent, hard to make because you need to be able to dig the thing back out because uh, what you need to do is put a war hammer into the hole cover the hole with a boulder and then and then extract it somehow. So we're going to follow class cough. Small weapons is not ideal. Do we have book of bashing medium? And uh we can re we we'll keep small weapons for now, but we'll most likely just go for forgetting it later on because it's not very useful. Okay, so let's go here for the last place. Round shields are very loud, I think. Average. Okay, never mind. I'll wear that. The only makes me lose one defense, and yeah. Scrolls are in ba basically completely safe to read. Oh, two quasars. And they're stacked, so they're probably not cursed. Remove curse. Okay, spear glows blue. This will be useful later on. Eventually, what we want to do is, uh, if we have a blessed scroll of remove curse, it removes curses off every single item off the inventory. Although, I guess curse is a somewhat... It's a weird name, because this game uses evil instead of curse, but whatever. Actually, sapphire ring. Rings that are not gold, you can feel free to use your enlightenment on them. Holy Ring of Teleportation. Okay. We don't have teleport control, so we're not going to use it. Wand of Trapping. Okay. So we have a couple of potions. We're going to dip this into this. It's not acid. Is it Greek Fire? It's not Greek Fire. This does nothing. I'm pretty sure I've tested the black one before. Was it the red one that I had to test? Yeah, it was. Okay, whatever. Nothing happens. These rooms are great. 
you can get a lot of experience off them. Just, you know, hit them while they're sleeping. And they can't do a whole lot about it. Close. Okay. So back to sleeping for HP. Because dying is a a real threat at this level anyway. Perfect shape. Okay, there we go. Apparently my aim is horrible because I have only one level in medium weapons. Weapon levels are great. They give you a lot of bonuses. They allow you to hit harder and uh, you also are more likely to hit. So let's test this as usual. Acid, good. Eventually we want to start keeping our acid potions for two reasons. One, they can be used to remove cursed items if we dip the cursed item in them as long as they are able to get dissolved. And two, they also prevent us from getting turned to stone, which is one of the biggest dangers, I think. So this Kiwi, you know, sleeping really sound because I'm slashing it and it's not waking up. Level up. Large weapons. Why does he teach me such useless skills? Book of Bashing again. Book of Bashing is for uh, large slash blunt weapons. Or just blunt, because large is kind of... It's just one part of it. Anyway, we're gonna kill these things. Okay. Getting surrounded sucks. So make sure you deal with it carefully if you're surrounded. Floating eyes are dangerous, but if they're sleeping, you know, not so bad. I saw luck somewhere. At low levels, just kill everything for experience, unless it's like a Shitomi or something, because those are actually very powerful for whatever reason. Bats are also not good to fight, because they are fairly powerful, because they're quick. Short sword. May as well. There's no point in not picking up items, because later on, if you have spells that use items, such as a Corrosive Explosion, you can just keep it for that. And dropping items doesn't take up a turn, and you don't really have an, a limit, I don't think, anyway. Ray Bounce is one of ice. Good. Attack Wands are really useful for several reasons. I, as I say that as I'm getting killed by this thing, and I will demonstrate why. It fizzles. God damn it, it's an evil wand. Because it does things like this. It's great for getting you out of trouble. And riding boots are, in fact, magical boots. So we're going to close this and test it out. These we established are. I it's okay, let's just name type fur lined or water walking. So let's wear these. Examine, I'm loud. Can I jump? I can't jump. Noisy, quiet, noisy, noisy. Could be due to my equipment. It's a negative one. Ah, remove it. Let's do a proper test. Quiet, silent, silent, quiet. Okay, so these are whatever the fur, I mean, what what, what if these wing boots are not, so. Actually, we can see if we, okay. Doesn't show if the eye snake damaged me. If they did, I would know if uh, the equipment is fur line boots because it gives me resistance to that. Okay, we almost 
you know what no, no we don't almost have everything needed for uh, the warrior equipment set sort and we will keep going So, doing okay so far. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. It's good to bait these kind of creatures into rooms because uh, you can basically kite them indefinitely. Charge, fantastic. Not hostile, so just switch with him. I could probably kill him, but I don't want to take the risk. Actually, here, we will see what this does. <laughs> or not, we will instantly kill it. Okay. Let's go down. And I'll just cut it off at this point. <laughs> 